Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video, I will talk about how you can export and append the data for the data distribution. So many times it happens that we have a lot of data users who keep asking about the data that we have within our dashboard, maybe in a table, table box here like in this case or maybe in a simple table and they initially come with one simple requirement and later on with some more additional requirement to get additional data. So gen in normal scenario or generally what happens is we keep on creating the new files and send it back to them as per their requirement. But here the idea is that how we can reduce uh, you know generating new files and make it a little bit consistent so that you are just appending any new requirement or any new data uh, in the same file and send it back to them. So what I meant by that is let's say for example we have the crime data for different Indian states and we are saying that we need a somebody get a request or you got a somebody give you the request that uh, they need a Delhi data from you and so you select and give it to the Delhi maybe like Excel button that you have send it to Excel but later on they come back hey can you send me the uh, Goa data along with Delhi so what you do you again select the Goa and click on Excel but here what we will going to see is that if you have already exported the Delhi data then how you can append the Goa data to the Delhi data so that you don't have to create a new file and your user is basically having also a good experience that okay if I have asked the new data they have not given me the new file or bombarded me with the new file but in just one file he is giving the data to me by just appending the new data to it all right so that's what we were going to see but before I talk more about it I will just want to pass on a very uh, good information to you which may be helpful uh, for your learning. So first thing is uh, about uh, the list of ClickView video tutorials. I have just consolidated a list based on numerous requests that uh, sometimes it is really difficult for a lot of users to really search through what they are looking for uh, in from ClickView learning uh, from my videos because uh, searching it little becomes a little bit difficult. So I just created one simple document on the Google Doc and shared it with everyone. So you can find the link of this document within the description of my video and uh, just search it. Let's say you want to search for input box. You will click very quickly go to the input box but don't have to you know uh, scroll through a lot of videos or a lot of uh, you know uh, my page to, to just look for a specific topic. So that's one thing. Another thing is if you want to keep on uh, getting more notifications from you about my new uploads then go ahead and subscribe to it. All right, so this is, these are the two information I just wanted to pass on to you. And let's go back to the click view and see how we can do that, the export and append feature. All right, so for that, what we're going to use is the button object. So we want to create a new button for triggers. So the button is here and the name we will give again export and append, very simple one. Click on actions, add the button within the external and we click export all right click ok once you have the export you will click setup so first of all what did, what are the fields that you want to export so all these fields which are starting with dollar is a system field so we're not going to touch that but what we're going to touch is the crime head and after pressing shift i will hit here and it will going to select all my fields which are there in this table so I will just click add that these are the fields I want to export and I want to export to a file and when I click on that it will ask me to uh, to export the data to a specific location. So crime data is basically the location where, where my click view file is and within that I just created the export uh, folder to get this export data. So once I select that location I can select comma delimited file and name of the file maybe again crime data and save so once i hit save it i have other options like whether i want to include the labels or not so yes i want to include the label i want field selections or records so i want records basically and whether i want to append to an existing file or not so if i enabled it what it is saying that whenever you are doing a new export it will going to append at the end of the file and after that number formatting we want to get full format no thousand separate or no formatting but i just want to go ahead and with the default option of full format that don't make any changes into the format 
which is there in the click view file and export it properly so after you have done these settings click ok and okay so that's all you need to do so let me go back to the export folder and show you that there is nothing right now so within the crime data we have export and there is no no uh, file as of now and once we will hit export here in this case it will going to create a file so we have the goa file let's click export and append so nothing will happen it's just that you need to go to the here and here now you have the crime data if i open it you will see the data for goa so let's close that and come back and try to export tally data um tally so once i have the daily data uh, i will just click export and append so i have just clicked on that and i will go to the file again double click on it and now i have goa and then data is appended for delhi all right so maybe third thing we want to do is take an edit state so maybe gujarat here in this case so export and append you go back and see the data verify it okay you have goa delhi and gujarat so that's that's how easy it is within the click view that you can just do a few setups uh, with the help of the trigger and button and give a functionality for your end user that you can go and export and append the data to the existing file and make it useful for you so that you are not bombarded with a lot of files and confused maybe later in the stage once you have created 10 15 different exports that what you have really done with each of the file and your user is also not you know um, confused with a lot of exporting ex files that you are giving to them so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video and i will meet you with a new video with a new topic